From a distance, this engineering marvel is like a Ferris wheel, but it's actually for ships. Located in Scotland, this rotating boat lift is the only one of its kind in the world. It allows vessels to be transferred from one canal to another, saving about three hours of travel time. This is probably the most profitable project in the world. Some even call it a real-life money machine. Every year it generates more than half a million euros. But it's not just any project. It's the Three Gorges Dam in China, the largest hydroelectric power station on the planet. Built over 13 years, this masterpiece stands as one of the greatest engineering achievements in history. It doesn't just produce massive amounts of electricity. It also helps prevent floods and provides water for agriculture. Many say it's so powerful that even nature itself seems smaller beside it. The Three Gorges Dam isn't just a structure, it's a symbol of human power and precision. Have you ever seen a piece of engineering this incredible? In Japan, instead of cutting down trees for development, they reallocate them. Japanese specialists practice an ancient technique called nemawashi, literally meaning going around the roots. Some relocations take years of planning, just to shift a single tree a few meters. But this isn't just clever engineering. It's a reflection of Japan's deep respect for nature. Look, in other countries, people have started selling their regular beds and replacing them with this Chinese gel bed because it's the most comfortable and cheapest bed in the world. It's made entirely of gel, which is why it's so soft that even if you jump on it, it won't hurt at all. And even if you spill water, nothing will happen to A it. A 25-ton concrete block is about to drop from 50 meters up. They're testing rock protection nets, the kind that stop landslides and falling rocks to keep people safe below. They release it from the crane, and it picks up speed fast. It slams into the net at 115 kilometers per hour. And here's the crazy part. The net stretches hard, but it holds. This just set a world record for the strongest rock net ever tested. Have you ever wondered why the houses on the Greek islands are all blue and white? It didn't start out as a design choice. Locals first painted their homes white to stay cool during the hot summers. White reflects sunlight instead of absorbing heat like dark stone does. The blue color came later. Fishermen used leftover blue paint from their boats to cover doors and window frames. In 1938, during a cholera outbreak, the Greek government required everyone to whitewash their homes because limestone works as a natural disinfectant. Later, under military rule, the blue and white color scheme became a symbol of national identity. Today, those colors remain not just for tradition, but because they've become an iconic look that attracts millions of tourists to places like Santorini and Mykonos. Fun fact, lime wash isn't just pretty. It lets walls breathe, prevents mold, and even keeps insects away. This is turkey during pumpkin harvest season. But look closely, Art. The pumpkins aren't being loaded onto trucks. Instead, they're fed straight into a machine and crushed. That's because these aren't the pumpkins people eat. They're grown mainly for their seeds. The dry climate and big temperature swings here make it perfect for pumpkin seed cultivation, allowing the seeds to build up rich oil and nutrients. Locals plant the pumpkins around May, and after four to five months by October, it's harvest time. By then, the vines have withered, and the pumpkins lie scattered scattered across the fields. Workers gather them up, crush them to separate the seeds, then clean, dry, and roast the seeds into the familiar white snacks we often see. The old man picks up what looks like a wooden stick and dips it into a pool of yellow liquid. In seconds, the stick is coated in a golden layer. So what exactly is he doing? And why soak these sticks in such strange liquid? These aren't just ordinary sticks, they're incense sticks. Making them is actually quite simple. A thin stick is rolled through layers of incense powder until it forms a thick cylinder. Some are pressed from special incense clay using machines. The colorful liquid on the outside is a mix of plant-based glue and mineral fuel. Once dried, it helps the incense keep its shape color and burn slowly and evenly. If you ever see baby turtles crawling, never pick them up because they have to get to the ocean in order to survive. But the journey is extremely dangerous as crabs and seagulls are usually camping their spawn points so only about 50% of them make it to the water alive. But they're actually wired to do this dangerous crawl for a reason and how it works is genius. Because while they drag themselves across the sand, they're memorizing the smell, the angle of the sun, the texture of the sand, and even Earth's magnetic field. Basically recording everything like a GPS. So if they manage to still be alive 30 years later, they can swim thousands of miles back to the same beach to lay their eggs. It's so cold here that people sleep under several layers of blankets because no one has heating in their homes. Boiling water thrown into the air instantly turns into snowflakes. Welcome to one of the coldest cities on Earth, where temperatures drop to minus 48 degrees Celsius. To understand how extreme that is, look at this. Seen straight out of a horror movie, paper freezes solid, food turns to ice within seconds, and in some places, people can't even open their front doors because of the snow. Want some 
ice? Just squeeze a bottle and the water freezes on the spot. In these brutal conditions, people still go to work, wearing over 10 kilos of layered clothing just to survive outside. Phones die in minutes, and breathing feels like inhaling glass. Life here is a daily test of endurance, yet somehow, the locals keep smiling, proving that even in the harshest cold, humans can find warmth. Have you ever seen a chicken farm like this? It's built on a steep hillside where regular vehicles can't reach, so the farmers constructed a small monorail to transport feed and supplies up and down the slope. The farm raises strong black-feathered chickens that are well adapted to the rugged terrain. The chicken coops are simple thatched huts built layer by layer along the terraces, and their round open roofs provide great ventilation and shade. The whole place is designed for practicality. No fancy decorations, no waste. Although this way of farming looks a bit old-fashioned and not the fastest, it feels natural and authentic. What's even funnier is that some mischievous chickens like to hop onto the monorail and peck at snacks along the ride. Farms like this are rare, efficient, creative, and surprisingly full of charm. Diana became famous for her 38-inch nails, setting a world record and gaining tens of millions of views online. What shocked people most was that she hadn't cut them for 25 years. In 1997, while out grocery shopping, she got the devastating news that her 15-year-old daughter had passed away. The only person who used to do her nails. Heartbroken, she vowed never to cut them again as a way to honor her daughter. Joints so strong they need no nails, screws, or glue. This is Sashimono, an ancient Japanese woodworking art where every piece of wood fits together perfectly like a puzzle. Craftsmen use precise measurements and traditional tools. This technique takes years, even decades, to master. But here's the crazy part. It strengthens the structure over time. As the wood expands and contracts, the joints tighten even more. These pieces can last for centuries.